Okay, so today we're going to talk about radians and degrees, uh, the different ways that we measure angles. So what is one degree? So to define it, one degree is the central angle measure of a circle formed by an arc 1 360th of a circle. What that means is we basically took the circle, bring that back, and divided it into 360 equal parts. And if you were to measure one angle here, this only goes to 10 degrees, because obviously one angle is very small. This would be 10 degrees. The central angle uh, from the center here, right, if it's from 0 to 10, 10 degrees. Uh, so we kind of arbitrarily divided the circle into 360 pieces. Why 360? It's close to the number of days, right, that it takes us to orbit the sun, 365. And also 60 or 360 is a multiple of 60 which has a lot of divisors. By the way, that's also why our units of time are 60 seconds in a minute, 60 minutes per hour. Anyway, 60 has a lot of dividers, divisors, so uh, that's why that was chosen. Okay, so obviously one degree is a very, very thin angle of measurement. Okay, well, a radian is the central angle measure of a circle formed by an arc that has arc length r or the radius. So here's a nice animation to help us understand the radius or radian. So if you take a circle, which is defined by the radius, right, and take the length of the radius and stretch it along the edge of our circle and drew a central angle, that angle measurement is considered to be one radian. And in fact, as you see as our visual here, you need a little more than three of them to get half a circle. In fact, you need pi radians. So that actually gives us a conversion there. Pi radians is the same as 180 degrees, or half a circle. And two pi radians is equal to 360 degrees. So these are a couple of important conversions here. Pi radians is equal to half a circle, 180 degrees. Two pi radians equals 360 degrees. And these you really just need to have memorized because we will convert between radians and degrees quite a bit throughout the rest of the chapter. Okay, well how do I directly convert? If I want my answer to be in degrees, we're going to take our radian measure, which will usually have pi in it, multiply it by 180, and divide by pi. Okay, if we want our answer to be in radians, we multiply by pi, our degree measure, and divide by 180. And so a way of remembering is that the 180 goes on top and pi goes on bottom or vice versa, which you might notice is the main difference between these other than the given angle being in radians or degrees. Uh, it helps if you're trying to cancel out pi in the top. So if you're given a radian measure with pi, that you need pi in the bottom so that they, the pi's would cancel and your degree measure should not have pi in it. Okay, so let's do some conversions here. Convert each degree measure to radians or each radian measure to degrees. Okay, so the easiest way, if I want to convert this to radians, this is the easiest way to do it. Multiply it by pi, divide it by 180, and reduce your fraction. So in fact, you could divide each by 10, right? Kind of lop off those zeros there. And then of course, six and 18 can also reduce. If you divide by six, we get pi over three, pi thirds radians. Same thing for our next one. Again, 150 degrees. We're gonna multiply it by pi and divide by 180. We can once again lop off the zeros by dividing by 10. And then of course, 15 and 18 have a common divisor of three. So five pi sixths radians. And yes, angles can be negative, uh, so in this case, negative 400 degrees, and we'll see why when we get into the unit circle next time. Uh, but once again, we multiply this by pi, divide by 180. Now again, we can essentially lop off a zero by dividing top and bottom by 10. And then hopefully we see these are both even numbers, so for sure we can divide by two, and we get negative 20 pi ninths radians. Okay, so what if we need to convert from radians to degrees? Well, there's two ways of doing this. You can either multiply by 180 over pi, and I like to remember that pi goes in the bottom when we're converting here so that those pi's cancel. And this is fine, you'd get 180 
over 6, and 180 divided by 6 is 30 degrees. Okay, nothing wrong with that. The other way, though, which I'd say is more helpful, because you'll need to convert a lot of these in your head later, is you can actually replace pi with 180 degrees. Pi radians is 180 degrees. So if we instead replaced pi with 180 and divide by 6, we can go straight to our answer, 30 degrees. So that actually is very helpful to do this one as well. I'm going to do this time, let's replace pi with 180 and divide by 3. Now in this case, if you're doing it without a calculator, you can actually divide that by 3 first. 180 divided by 3 is 60. And 5 times 60 is 300. This is the same as 300 degrees. So again, knowing this conversion, that I can replace pi with 180, makes this converting a little bit easier. What about negative 13 pi over 180? Well, if I again replace pi with 180 degrees, now 180 does divide by 5. That may not be super easy to do in your head, but 5 goes into 18 three times. Uh, with 3 left over, and 5 goes into 30 six times. So this is negative 13 times 36, okay, which gives you negative 468 degrees. Negative 468 degrees. Okay, so again, if you're converting from radians to degrees, it's easier if your radian measure has pi in it to simply replace pi with 180. And then if you have a nice divisor of 180 in the bottom, make your value smaller before you multiply and make it bigger. In other words, don't do 5 times 180 and then divide by 3. You're going to get a very large number to divide by 3. And that will be actually less obvious. It's actually easier to make your number smaller by doing the division first and then multiply by 5. Um, if you're converting from degrees to radians, slap a pi next to it divide by 180, and reduce your fraction. Hopefully it's as easy as that. So hopefully now you have some understanding what a radian represents, uh, which again from our picture here, is the angle measure where the arc length is the same as the radius of the circle. So this, this makes more sense because it's, it's more pure. It comes from the circle. It's not an arbitrary number that we chose, like 360 to divide the circle up into. Um, so pure mathematicians prefer radians. Um, not to say that there's much wrong with degrees. We can still measure things in degrees, but you will see a lot of radians kind of from here on out in math.